Hey K's crew, this is Miss K here. Today we're talking about adding integers. I'm gonna go over a few different scenarios with you, including same signs, different signs, and adding multiple signs. First, let's talk about adding same signs. Let's say I have negative 10 plus negative two. First, I realize this is an addition problem and my signs are different. What I'm going to do first is take the absolute values of negative 10 and negative 2. Remember, absolute value is the distance of a number from 0. So negative 10 is 10 steps from 0. Negative 2 is 2 steps from 0. Remember, you will never have a negative absolute value. Next, I'm going to add these two numbers together. 10 plus 2 is, of course, 12. But the question becomes, is my answer going to be positive or is it going to be negative? It's going to be negative. Because if I look back at my problem, both of my original numbers were negative. So my answer has to be negative as well. What about different signs? Let's say I have negative 3 plus 8. My signs are different. I have a negative and I have a positive. First step is the same as before. I'm going to find the absolute values. Negative 3's absolute value is 3, and 8's absolute value is 8. Next, I'm going to subtract the lowest from the highest. My highest absolute value is 8. I'm going to subtract 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Question is, is it positive 5 or negative 5? I want to look back at my problem and compare the values. The highest absolute value of these two numbers is 8. My 8 is positive, so my answer will stay positive. So negative 3 plus 8 is positive 5. What about if I'm adding several things and the signs are all different? Let's say I have negative 3 plus 2 plus negative 6. What I want to do first is just isolate part of the problem and follow those rules. So let's isolate negative 3 plus 2 and focus on that. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3 and the absolute value of 2 is 2. Since my signs were different, I'm going to follow the rules for different signs, which is to subtract and not add. So 3 minus 2, of course, gives me 1. Is it going to be a positive 1 or a negative 1? We'll look back at my original values. The highest absolute value belongs to 3, and that 3 is negative. So my answer has to be negative. Since I have negative 1 here, I'm going to finish the rest of my problem by adding negative 6. I look at my signs and they're the same. So I'm going to follow the rules for same signs. So absolute value is 1. Absolute value is 6. 1 plus 6 gives me 7. Is it positive or negative? It's going to be negative. I look back at my original two numbers, and they're both negative, so my answer has to be negative 7. I look back at my problem, negative 3 plus 2 plus negative 6 equals negative 7. And that's adding integers. Have a great day, Case Crew.